Well, hello there, and welcome back to Off The Tracks. My name's Lee, and today it's time for another episode of Ride It, Pie It, Top 5 It. And I'm here with none other than Mr. Dan. How are you, my mate? I'm good, thank you, thank you. So with Ride It, Pie It, Top 5, it's very simple. We rank rides. For example, Ride It, it's a good ride. It's all right, you know, five, ten minutes, Q. Mm -hmm. Pieing it, no way. Even if you force me on it, I'd be like, no, no, I don't want to go on it at all. Uh, it's top five in it. It's fantastic. All day long. All day long. What a mm -hmm. ride. So, Lee, what ride have we decided to Ooh, review? We've, we've got a good one today, Dan. We're going to be talking about Zadra over at Energy Landia. <laughs> what a stonker. What a stonker. Mm. Uh, wow. As you know, quality, quality coaster built by RMC, one of the first to open in Europe. And did you know, Dan, it's the first ever ground up RMC iBox track. Didn't. I didn't know mm. that. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah I, ugh, this ride, I could talk about it all day long. But obviously, yeah. you know, we've got other rides to review. So anyway, <laughs> so uh, yeah, Zadra itself opened in 2019, it was. Mm. Uh, cost of, uh, how much was it? Was it 61 million? Uh, well, 61 and a half million Polish lotties, which my calculations were at about 55p. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. If you don't know, Poland is extremely cheap to go to. The beers are, what, a quid? Oh, but now, I don't, I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, it's at 61 and a half million zlotys. So whatever the exchange rate is on that, we probably should have done that, Dan, shouldn't Maybe we? Maybe we should have done some research on that beforehand. Cut. 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 <laughs> we'll just do it there. Uh, so yeah, pretty much. It's in the uh, Dragon's Zone. Now, what happens is obviously you go underneath the, uh, like, a, like a passage in it, underneath the, because it's got like a road in the middle of the park. It's yeah, it's, actually, it's like a second park. Park, isn't it really? And by the way, it's eleven and a half million quid. Oh which right, is there a we go. Bargain! What a bargain! That is a bargain! Wow. Uh, but yeah, the, the area for me is amazing. The Smogsy Grod, our Grog, is it? Smogsy. I think so, yeah. We call it the Smogsy, as you all know if you if you've heard the diss track. Oh. Um, so yeah, the Smogsy. It's an amazingly themed area for me. It's almost comparable to like the Harry Potter lands yes. over at Universal. It's just spectacular. I mean, yeah, when you first, when you go, when you're walking towards it and you just see this massive coaster and the speed and you can hear it going round and it's yeah. just like, what on earth is this? It literally I mean, roars, doesn't it? It's like, it's themed to a dragon anyway, and it roars like a bloody dragon. It's incredible. So intimidating. Even for seasoned coaster boys like us, it's intimidating. I must admit, when I first ridden it, I was kind of like... Mm -hmm. Twitchy bum. It yeah. It's the first time in a long time that I actually was nervous when I was actually sitting on it going, oh yeah, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here yeah, we go, here I remember we go. getting into the queue and the, the ominous music's playing and the theming's spectacular. Into the queue, the theming's still spectacular. Although the queue is about four miles long. <laughs> Bear in mind, I'm drinking zero Coke. Sorry, I'm getting very gassy. Um, but yeah, the longest queue line I've ever been on. Insane queue line, but beautifully themed. Yes, I mean, like you said with the queue line, it is ridiculously long. Not as long as Woden at Europa Park, because that's even got a toilet. Oh, okay. It's got a toilet wow. in the middle of the... Yeah, that's how long it is. Um, but before you actually even enter into the station, you've got this random one, two, three, yeah. three system. Which I do like once you get your head around it. It's a bit confusing at first, of course, and, and a lot of the signs are in Polish, but it is front row anywhere on the train, back row, which I yes. rate. I think it's really good how it works and it's very efficient. I think the only problem is there is a bit of a bottleneck when you get to that section sometimes because it's such a long queue. You don't see anybody. <laughs> Literally, no. you're growing a beard, aren't you, on your walk around? <laughs> and then you get to the bit where you're at the station and it sort of bottlenecks a little, but nothing too crazy. I think they've, yeah. they've managed the ride well. They have, and obviously with the locker system as well, um, they, it's, it's, a, it's a really clever concept, really, because obviously mm. as you're queuing toward, well, as imagine you're going on it and then you've got the, I think it's the lockers on your right-hand side, you put them, your stuff in there, and then you go up into the actual station. Then when you yeah. come down, it's kind of on the opposite side so you can yeah. catch your belongings. Like double double doors, aren't they? Yeah. Really uh, clever. Uh, so clever. But uh, obviously, before you even enter into the station and you're in your little pens and stuff, you kind of go into the station, then the doors behind you close, so you mm -hmm. can't even see it being dispatched the train itself so it's a bit for like me, that builds that tension and that atmosphere because you don't and the only time you see the car and the track is when you're in the station yes. getting on you know and it's it's just awesome i was more excited for you because obviously i've been on it before and i, yeah. I just because i've been bigging up all through that trip saying to lee 
Oh my God, Zarja, mate, you were just, just going to blow you. And considering it's like your first RMC as well, so it's kind of like you've heard mm -hmm. these hypes of other other theme park enthusiasts is like, RMC, RMC. So when you went on it for the first, what was it likely? Just insane, you know, the height of it. I think, is it 100 and, what was it now? 100 and, oh no, 206, no, 206. feet, sorry. Yeah, 206, 62 meters, which is insane. When you, you, you're you walking up to it, you're like, geez, Louise. The speed of it's amazing. Um, we had a top speed of 75 Five. miles per hour, which is fast. It's motorway speeds on a coaster. <laughs> you know, it's insane. And even though it's only got three inversions, you wouldn't know because no. there's that much going on. There's like big wave turns, the outer bank turns, that the zero G stall is just breathtaking for me breathtaking and yeah it compares to, to to any coaster on earth for me i think it's just so so good i mean the restraints itself uh some people find it really uncomfortable uh, because mm -hmm. obviously it has to go around your is it your ankles or your shins i think it is as you're pulling yeah, down there's the like harness. a shin guard and also it's not very testicle friendly no it's not yeah <laughs> I, that I had yet. a bit of an issue yeah i had a bit of an issue my first ride on it i was like <laughs> and they've 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 put the whole body weight the the ride up has stapled me with the body weight and one of my testicles just found itself in a space it shouldn't have been and i was like mate <laughs> testicle like <laughs> they understood that <laughs> they didn't speak a word of the lingo but they understood testicle um, uh, but no th that's just a very very it's like a post-it note of, of problems on this enormous amazing coaster because once you're up and you're, you're going up that lift hill all then things just vanish because <sighs> this this thing's amazing it is and um, like you said the train itself is um I think it looks really nice. I think it looks very yeah. modern. Look, it looks it it looks decent enough. Mm. Um, a little bit Conda ish, isn't it? Yeah, a little, on that that kind of thing. Like it's sort of like a head at the front, like this dragon's oh, God, head. Yeah. In fact, yeah. I've got I've got uh, yeah, it's over there. In fact, I've got a Lego just over there of it. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah. So pretty much, you got this massive like lift hill, and it's crazy. And the drop, the first drop. Wow. And you hit. You do hit vertical. You hit ninety degrees. Yes. It's the max angle, which. And it goes on forever. Honestly, you're just dropping and dropping and it goes into itself, which is just a plethora of near misses. It's oh. amazing. Amazing. And that, that first like uh, speed hump, the airtime hump, insane. Never felt anything like it. And I'm not sure if I ever will. It's and I mean, so when, you, and when you see people's like POVs and stuff like on it, then no one screams because you can't. You don't have time it's, because it's that quick. It's too much, yeah. They say like, you know, if you're in a car crash, you don't have time to, to scream. You just, That's you, exactly you, what you, and it's like that. It's that fast and that intimidating. The first ride, especially after a bit, you're like, woo. But <laughs> the first ride, me and Zave were just like, like, what the friggin' hell is this? It is insane. It's relentless. And even like the turnarounds taller than most UK coasters. It's insane. Honestly, if, if you're gonna do anything, you need to get out to Energy Landy and ride this thing. You do, you do. And I mean, even when you see a ride off ride really quick, you know it's going to be quick when you're mm. on the ride itself. Um, that uh, out of bank turn, holy, yeah. it's illegal. How that thing stays on that track, I have no idea. It should snap off. It's insane. Off. Yeah, it looks like it should. And the force that you feel, that the uh, the ejector. I remember that the night in the room after the first night, I had like sore thighs where the harness was because right. it was that intense like I, obviously i was it was tight in and i felt like it bruised me a little bit because we obviously did it a lot you know if yeah. you're getting it one or two times you won't notice but because we did it that many times and the forces that you feel are that strong that it kind of bruised my upper hip where the, <laughs> the 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 lap bar sits so i mean what does that tell you <laughs> things insane it's criminal it is uh now before we uh obviously the braking system that's the only downfall I can think of. Wow, it slams its brakes. Like yeah, I literally call it the from neck breaker. <laughs> oh, because obviously it doesn't lose its speed at no. all. It still does well, 70 to 75 all the way around it. And it's kind of like even you go into them brakes, 70 to 75 miles an hour, slamming your brakes on. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, it's that's like there's no important. friction, isn't it? It's like it doesn't lose any speed. It's just, I mean, it obviously does, but it's not, you can't feel it. It's just no. so relentless. And at the end, as you're coming towards the end, there's like a big, is it a zero G roll or a corkscrew? It's one of the two. I think it's a corkscrew. Uh, oh, it's beautiful. It's just stunning. And it's just one of them that it's the gift that keeps on giving this ride for me. And yeah, like you say, you hit the brake run at such pace that you, your eyeballs are like sucked out of your brain, aren't they? <laughs> just insane. But uh, but yeah, but the only thing that I have with it, I w 
part, I don't know if I wish it was longer because it only goes on for a minute and 50 seconds. Mm. Genuinely, I think you you feel like you're on it a lot longer. Um, but maybe, I don't know, an extra 30 seconds may, may have been... I feel enough. like because it's so quick and so intense that it's right for me i feel like it's it's a good length if it was any more it might make you feel a bit sick or mm. you know something like that so i feel like yeah as you hit the break run you just want a little bit more but i like that about it it's like a good meal you know you finish your meal if you're over faced it's a bit oh <laughs> it's just enough just enough perfect leave you wanting a little bit more but that's it. Well, I just, I just, I, the only thing I have with it is I have nothing to compare it with with another RMC. Now I've heard mm. things, obviously the one Steel Vengeance. That's what the ones what everyone's kicking off about, like yeah. oh it's better, no it's not. Um, it, but then I've it looks heard comparable to Ianguazi. To be fair, it does look comparable. They're very similar heights. I think they're both like a meter or two difference in height, which are the tallest RMCs. So it looks a little Ianguazi, but very unique coaster. Absolutely. Well, Lee. It's time, as always, man. We're going to have to uh, rank this sucker. So, Ooh. Lee, verdicts. Yeah, I mean, for me, this is a tough one to beat. It's very tough worldwide. I mean, I've been to LA. I've ridden some of the big coasters over there. Um, I'm, up, I'm off to LA this year. Oh, uh, and I'm still not as excited about anything as I was for Zadra and even to ride Zadra again. <clears throat> um, yeah, for me, it's a top five, mate. Wow. All day. All day. Wow. Amazing coaster. That's that's awesome to hear. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I'm not even going to try and bluff it. Hundred yeah, percent, man. What was the point? You know, I'm going to yeah. top five it. Come on, guys. Let's we be might honest as well have just gone on the start. Go, hey, welcome to ride it. Buy it. It's a top five. Top five See it. you next <laughs> week. <laughs> uh, literally insane. I just love everything about it all. Uh, the th even the theme. I know it's not. It has got theme, but it has. I don't know. It hasn't got. Well, theme the areas themed immaculately yes. for me. I think the Smogsy is just beautiful, and this obviously. Is a sort of cruel, a cruel, a crown in the, a jewel in the crown. Yeah, <laughs> no, I've yeah. done a damn there. I I've done a damn. <laughs> Take that again, cut. <laughs> it's a jewel in the crown for me of that area, which is spectacular. The cars themed very well. Um, there's just not a lot of theming sort of in and around the coaster, but I don't think yeah. it needs it. It's so stunning. It really is. It really is. And uh, guys, let us know in the comments below. Have you been on Zadra? I think a lot of people have. Would you ride it? Would you pie it? Or would you top five it? If people are going to pie it, get out. Yeah, get out. Just get out. Leave but this place. Unsubscribe <laughs> and leave this place. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget you follow us on social medias on Instagram and Facebook. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell icon every time we upload a new video. You will be notified. So I'm Dan. And I'm Lee. And thank you for watching. And as always, I don't even know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Happy riding. <laughs> Clap and say stuff. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.